okay save channel strip setting as all right now I'm gonna load up male rapper vocals now to this audio track channel strip okay and it sounds like this 96 degrees okay so I'm gonna modify that I'm going to open the EQ, I'm going to lower that hump, I'm going to open the compressor, I'm going to change the settings on that so it's not so harsh, okay, and it now sounds like this, 96 degrees, okay it's much more subtle than the original male rapper vocal so I want to save that now as a channel strip preset. So I left click here on this channel strip setting slot and choose save channel strip setting as. Okay. And I'm going to call it male wrapper vocals light and I'm going to save it in the default location that logic prompts me to save it in. Here we go. Save. Okay, but look what's happened. It hasn't saved it in the library in any of the folders. It's saved it outside of the folders. Okay. Well, that's not, I suppose, a problem if you've got just one or two, you know, a handful of channel strips that you've saved. Okay, either created from scratch ones or modified. But of course, the problem is going to come when you've saved hundreds of them, and you know this. This column here is full of these individual channel strip settings as well as the folders and it's a complete mess because not only will it be full of individual channel strip settings and the folders but you're going to have channel strip presets in there for drums and vocals and synths and all sorts of things all mixed together. It, it's just going to be a, a logistical nightmare, okay? Okay, well... That's what happens when you save into the default location logic prompts you to save in. Um, I will show you now how to save into the library location, okay? Um, I've already modified this preset. Okay, I'm going to choose Mail Wrapper Vocals Light. Okay, and um, make sure it's selected, and now I'm going to save it, okay? but in a different location. So save channel strip setting as and I'm presented with the save dialog again. Okay, but this time I'm not going to save in the default location that logic prompts me to. Let's look at that location. Okay, drop this down here and logic's prompting me to save into my user account, library, application support, logic, channel strip settings and then in the track folder because it's an audio track channel strip setting that we're saving. All right. So I'm not going to save it there. I'm going to step out of my user account, out of users, to the Macintosh hard drive. Then I'm going to choose library, application support, logic, channel strip settings, and it's an audio track, so I'm choosing track. And now you can see here the, is the exact same library folders. So I can now choose voice, male voice, and I can save my male rapper vocals light into the same folder alongside the original male rapper vocals preset that I modified. Here we go, save. And now it's nice in the library alongside the original and I can switch between the two. 96 degrees in the shade. 96 degrees in the shade. Okay, much easier because it keeps all your presets together. Especially if they're modified, tweaked presets because they can live alongside the originals, okay? And it's the same for audio instrument tracks. Again, I've got this dark trance bass loaded. What I'm going to do is go to synthesizers, synth leads, and I'm going to choose classic trance. There it is. And it sounds like this. Okay, so we've loaded up classic trance channel strip for this audio instrument track. And it's loaded the excess sampler with the trancey hook, 
sample set and all the parameters on the EXS set in a certain way including the envelopes and filter etc as well as all these effects to make this sound so I'm going to modify that now all right I'm going to choose this ensemble and I'm going to push up the intensity of the LFOs and the random feature and the mix and the rate of the LFOs etc and now I'll get a pretty manic sound I think just push the rate up even more I'll get a, a, a really manic sort of crazy sound here we go come on Okay, so let's say I want to save that. So I'll go save channel strip setting as, and now it's prompting me to save into the instrument folder in channel strip settings, which is in my user account library application support logic channel strip settings instrument. Okay, there you go. So in other words, the default user library location, and I hit save, but I'll call it classic trance weird. That's how you spell weird. Actually, it's I before E, isn't it? Classic trance weird. Save. But again, it's put it outside of the library folders, just like with the audio track channel strip, yeah? So, there is a couple of solutions. You could do this save channel strip setting as and you know as it's an instrument uh, channel strip it's trying to save it into the instrument folder but I could create a new folder called my synths okay and then save classic trance weird into my synths folder and what happens then is it creates this new folder called my synths <coughs> with my preset in it but the problem is yes I can then play it if I want to then jump to the original, I've got to go out of this folder, I've got to then go to synthesizers, synth leads, and choose the original classic trance. And then to go back to mine, I've got to step back and choose my synths, classic trance, weird. You know, it's not a very good system, because you've got to keep jumping between your folder and any subfolders that you've created inside it, because... You know, you might create subfolders called lead base, etc. But all your presets basically will still not be living in the library alongside the original presets, where it's easy to categorize them and keep keep everything organized. So again, you can save it like this. You can go save a channel strip setting as and step out of your user account, out of users, Macintosh hard drive, library application support l l logic channel strip settings this time instrument because we're saving an instrument channel strip and now I can go to synthesizers synth leads and save my classic trance weird in there alongside the original classic trance yeah and now it's uh, easy to jump between them okay okay so that's how you can save into the default library location and keep everything organized in the library folders but that does introduce a potential danger all right so let's look at that now and carry on looking at this whole channel strip setting thing yeah <laughs>